the Father has made the sons of God joint heirs with the Son of God. Romans chapter 8 verses 14 through 17. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are sons of God. For you did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you received the spirit of adoption by whom we cry out, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And if it's children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. If indeed we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. As we conclude this week, we've been looking at the life of the Son of God and the as various aspects of his life. We talked about the fact that he revealed the Father. He walked in intimate fellowship with the Father. He walked in obedience to the Father. He uh, walked um, doing the will of the Father. He walked anointed by the power of the Holy Spirit. We saw that he is the prototype of, of all of us as sons and daughters of God, that we should be like Him. We conclude by saying what the Bible says here, that the Father has made us joint heirs with the Son of God. And this is such an awesome thought to think that God would take us, people whom He has adopted into His own family uh, by the Holy Spirit being given to us. And He would say, you are my heirs, and you are joint heirs with the Son. Uh, we probably cannot fully fathom or fully understand uh, the, uh, the, the greatness of what God has done here for us. But we must learn by and by to acknowledge and to begin to walk in this truth that we are co-heirs with the Son of God. That right here and on this earth, even though we may be suffering uh, persecution, and as Paul says, we suffer with him. Uh, you know, the fact is we are heirs of God and we are joint heirs with Jesus. As John puts it in 1 John 4, 17, our life on earth is the same as his, or even as he is, so are we in this world. We walk in this earth as Christ would have walked here today. Walk as a joint heir with Christ. The spiritual realm recognizes you as a co-heir. Uh, there is a great, uh, uh, you know, there's a certain greatness, there's a great a certain awe in, in, in being recognized as a joint heir with Christ in the realm of the spirit. And we must walk in that understanding and walk in that reality here on earth. You are a co-heir, a joint heir with Jesus. Walk in the fullness of that and the authority that it brings into your life and the power and the dominion and the victory that flows into your life because you are a joint heir with Jesus. Demons recognize that. Walk in it here on earth. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we ask that you'll help us be like the Son of God, to grow up in all things, to be like Him, and help us to learn to walk as people who are heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ. Help us to walk in the fullness of that here on earth. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.